Hey guys, CTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 10.11 has been released. And like with all new releases of LaunchBox, there's some new fixes, new improvements, and new features. In this video, I want to go over some of the more notable new features here, and there are quite a few to talk about. Like always, if you're interested in checking out the full change log, I will leave a link in the description, but let's go ahead and get right into it. The first new feature with LaunchBox 10.11 is the new badge feature. Now this has been specifically built for LaunchBox and it will display badges for various things next to your games. And it's really easy to enable, so from within LaunchBox, as long as you're updated to the latest version of 10.11 or higher, up at the very top we'll have a new badge drop down. From here, you can show badges, enable favorite badges, unplayed, completed, hidden, broken, portable, multi-disc, multiple versions, installed, not installed, GOG, and Steam. Now with these badges, you can actually change the badge icon if you'd like to. You can go right in here, but you need to make sure you name it correctly. So these are the badges that are pre-installed with LaunchBox 10.11. So I'm going to go ahead and enable them from the badge dropdown, show badges, and as you can see, we have badges beside each game. So these are unplayed. I also have completed and favorited. Now, like you just saw, there's more that we can enable here. If you want to do portable or multi-discs, it's totally up to you. We have lots of options. So I really do like this feature. And let's say you've completed one of these games already on a separate platform. We can always go into here to information, edit, completed. And if I want to favorite it, I can favorite it right here. Choose OK. And now I have this game favorited and completed. Now this isn't one that I have completed, but I will in the future, Airbuster. So I've just went ahead and enabled all of my badges here. As you can see, we got some main games up here with multiple versions. I'll find a multi-disc game. Got Final Fantasy, multi-disc. There's lots of ways to use these badges and I recommend experimenting. Overall, I think it's a welcome addition to LaunchBox. So next on the list, a new installed field has been added to games with the Steam Import Wizard and the GOG Import Wizard. So this is going to make life so much easier. In the past, we just had to import all of the stuff that we had in our Steam library. But now we can choose to only install the games that are installed on our PC. So just head over to the Import Wizard. We'll go to Tools, Import, and I'll do my Steam games. It's going to parse my Steam account, letting me know which games I own on Steam. And as you can see here, right off the bat, it only checks the ones that I have installed on this PC right now. You can check all of them if you'd like to. None, just check the ones you have installed or check none installed. Personally, I'm only going to be playing the games that I have installed right now, so I've chosen check install and finish. Like I mentioned, in the past it would just import your whole collection, and if you own a ton of games on Steam, it could get pretty cluttered. So now, as you can see, it only imported the games I have pre-installed on this PC, that's 16 games, and our badges also work. So we have our Steam badge, installed badge, unplayed. Now I have played these games outside of LaunchBox, and this will show up if you haven't played them or launched them from within LaunchBox. So if I went ahead and launched Dead Cells right now, when I come back, the unplayed badge will not be here with Dead Cells. Now this also applies to GOG games. So from the import wizard, one more time, import, GOG, You'll need to put in your name, make sure your profile is public. It's found all of my GOG games that I own, and I'm only going to select the ones I have installed. Now, if you just want to import everything you have, you can always do that, but I'm just going to choose Check Installed. These are the games I have pre-installed right now that are ready to play, and I can click Finish. And the games were successfully imported, as you can see, GOG right here, and I also have my Steam games. Now another new feature with the GOG games is we can automatically launch these with GOG Galaxy. It'll provide our cloud save states and things like that, but GOG itself is DRM free, so you can always launch these without any of that installed. Just make sure you have it enabled under Tools, Options, Integrations, GOG, and make sure Launch Games through GOG Galaxy Client is checked. So every time I start a GOG game through here, it will launch the client for me. And I like doing this because I do have cloud save states with GOG Galaxy, and I don't want to have to restart the whole game. And along with those new changes to the GOG and Steam import, metadata for Steam games is now downloaded directly from Steam. You can change this from within the wizard if you'd like to, but in my experience, scraping metadata from Steam has worked out much better now that this has been added. 
And the same goes for GOG import. Posters and screenshot images, as well as game metadata, can now be downloaded directly from GOG. So I think the biggest new feature here for LaunchBox 10.11 is the new badge feature. It's only going to get better over time, but right now you can change the badge icons if you'd like to. I personally think they look pretty good like they are, but you can easily make your own, and I'm sure some people over on the forum are going to have a field day with this. But that's pretty much it for this video. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy LaunchBox 10.11. Make sure you're fully updated. And like I said, I will leave a link to the full changelog in the description. There's lots of fixes and improvements I didn't go over. I really wanted to cover these new features here because I personally like every one of them that's been added to 10.11. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.